Here to start. Mm -hmm. Just gonna give y'all a little taste of the little electrical diagnostic and shit. Fine works, but because it was old and in here, you know, these Chevys have a amount of problems with these fans. We're just gonna go ahead and change it anyway. It's grounded. That's the cooling side of the fan, and this is the AC side of the fan. Well, no, this is the AC fan, and this is the, the engine cooling fan right there. That's real I'm gonna show y'all what's going on in there. You see that? All that corrosion and stuff. So not only is this customer gonna need a daggone harness, you know, we're gonna fix the electricals and fix the harness as well. This is part of the problem right here. All right. Just doing a little quick test. That's the coolant fan. There you go. We got power going to it now, but I gotta let this customer know he need about three more goddamn relays, man. <laughs> Six. This is no videos on YouTube and none of that shit. I'm gonna just go ahead and upload this one to YouTube. Customer, uh, well, in the other video, you'll see that part, but I'll just go ahead and give you a rundown. Customer complains of an overheating issue. We tried to burp it. We tried to, you know, get all the air out. There's no air in the system at all. Um, uh, what happened? Uh, discovered that uh, the fans wasn't working. The, the fan relays was burnt up and also the fan harness was burnt as you can see in there crud and all that good jazz and uh, so what we wind up doing is replacing the fans fan a couple fan relays and it's an easy way to do these things oh yeah I'm gonna let y'all know that this little clip right here everybody always complains about a 10 millimeter flying to the fucking moon you unclip this and this bitch is gone. Luckily I found that and I didn't have to run to the store and pay $5 for an assortment kit, even though that wouldn't be bad because if this happened again with another vehicle or Chrysler, you know, Dodge, Jeep, a lot of vehicles using. Anyway, when you take it off, have a magnet on there so it won't fly to outer space, all right? And don't be like me and cut the car on two to three times to try to circulate something and forget to put that back on because then you'll have to be filling this back up with uh, fluid. As you can see that I did, don't make that same mistake. Any freaking who, take the goddamn intake box out. It is much easier to get this in and out. You know, I've been thinking it was one of those custom doohickeys that somebody had put in there and it, like I, I tried to take one out of SS Monte. I said Monte. 
uh, SS Monte Carlo before, and it was like stuck down to the bottom, so I didn't try to even touch it, but I wound up touching it, moving out of the way. It was like, huh, all right, take that out. You'll be able to do this in a breeze, all right? Well, in the other portion of the video, you'll see how I broke it down and how, you know, diagnosed it and fixed it and, and all that good jazz. Now, stay tuned. About to put it back together. And three, two... There they go. Fans doing what they're supposed to do. All right now. No more issues, baby. That's all on its own. No overheating. All right now.